Okay, so I've been in the office all day and I'm about to head about a mile up the road to try and do something that I've never done before, and that is photograph the ISS transiting the moon. So I'm running a bit late, so I've got to be quite quick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head out there, I'm going to take the long lens and the uh, Sony a7 III, and hopefully I can get a decent image, or maybe a sequence of images, if I'm lucky. So yeah, follow me along tonight and I'll show you how I get on. One of my uh, good friends who actually got me into astrophotography has uh, invited me out tonight to try and do the ISS transit. So this is Ben. Hi guys. He, uh, he's got a great Instagram. What is it, Ben? Forget nowadays, but <laughs> I think it's Ben Jarvis underscore photography. I always like an underscore. Yeah, so Ben Ben's the guy who got me into uh, astrophotography. Uh, is that me down out. Um, by the church? It was, yeah, yeah. first shot. Um, yeah. I was amazed when it popped up on on the back of my that camera. There was a little gang of us that day, I remember. Yeah, yeah back when you can go out. Yeah, back uh, pre-COVID. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he's invited me out tonight because there is a uh, ISS transit, as I've already mentioned. And it should go right across the, uh, the the front of the moon, which is great. And it's, uh, sorry, car going by. And it's uh, illuminated by the sun as well. So Yeah, so I tried it a couple of nights ago and, it, and there was no, you couldn't see it. So you had to rely on the on the time it told you. So I was really nervous. So I've got an app today that shows me the time by milliseconds so I can press my button so it, I can get all the frames. But actually, I think we're gonna see it in front of us. So we'll know straight away as it passes over. So we can be really accurate tonight. It should be really easy. I say easy, it's quite nerve wracking. <laughs> you get really <laughs> nervous when it comes to taking a photo. <laughs> so Ben's got a couple of these before, so he's a bit more experienced than me, but this is the first time. So Ben's got his camera set up here, as you can see. Mine set up okay, two meters apart, <laughs> just here, and the ISS should rise. I don't know how well you can see this. Should rise just uh, from over there, right up, and I mean, then see pass. It alone is a really cool sight, isn't it? To see it pass over. Yeah. But to, but to, to see it across the moon is awesome. Yeah, yeah that'd be amazing. definitely. So yeah, wish us luck and uh, check out his Insta, and uh, I'll show you if we get anything later. Okay, so I'm out, I'm all set up, I've got the moon nicely framed and I'm just about to wait for the ISS to, to transit. So I've got, I'm gonna film this and then I'm gonna set the uh, the video camera up, hopefully I can get a video of it going over as well. Um, but just talk you through my settings really quickly. So I've got the A7 III, so the Sony A7 III. I've got the 200 to 600 lens, so that's the lens I use for most of my wildlife stuff. Um, I've got it at one, 1250th of a second f9 and iso 1000 so hopefully that's uh, good enough to to get a sharp iss not entirely sure this is the first time i've tried it so a bit of uh, experimenting but the uh, the iss should go right across the moon tonight so fingers crossed got a couple of minutes before the iss actually goes over um and then then i just need a bit of luck and some good timing i guess God, I'm actually like shaking. Isn't it? <laughs> I know. I swear, I'm so nervous. Oh God! Did I don't want to look now, really. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. You got it. 